question everybody has, since you're like one of the most raging shooters that ever walked the earth, greatest IDPA shooter on the planet, yeah. your grip is a little, a little bit more aggressive than most of the top shooters I see out there. So kind of explain a little bit about the Robert Vogel grip and what it does. Yeah, well, most of it is just this, uh, the support hand. I roll it further forward. I go all the way out to the end of the trigger guard as opposed to being stacked up here. And I roll my wrist a little further forward than, than most guys. So that uh, it just, it, it gets higher and further forward on the gun. The closer you get to the magic spot here, the, the less the gun moves, uh, the better you're going to be able to control it and recoil. A Glock's a light gun. you got to muscle a little bit more to shoot this well, I think. So with that grip, you're going to get pairs that are a little closer together, faster follow-up shots, the whole business. Overall, yeah, I mean, that's just the idea. Let's, uh, let's double tap these three dorks right here real quick. All right. Kind of see what's going on. Each. All right, nice and easy. Okay, let's, let me get up close. Don't shoot me. So those are about an inch apart, about an inch apart, like an inch, half an inch and a half apart. That's pretty insane. Um, go ahead and uh, double tap their heads this time. Should be touching. Doing the head? Yeah. Faster or slower? Uh, as fast <laughs> as you, like a match. Oh, like a match? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Right. Ah. Try a little trigger freeze on that middle right, one. Do it again. Do it again. Do the middle one. He deserves it. Just the middle one? Yeah. Right in the nose? Yeah. That was pretty good. Now come over here to the steel and double tap these two right here. Two you got enough left in there? Yeah, these two? Yeah, these two. Alright. Holy crap. Those double taps are right on top of each other. It's getting dark out here. I know. Yeah. So, just hold the gun out. Let's do one more double tap. What do we got left in there? What do we got left in there? Like three rounds, right so there. Shoot that. I want to watch the gun recoil. We'll do this part in slow motion. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Ready? And that's factory, one fifteen grain, uh, federal. It was about going about uh, twelve hundred feet per second. No, about eleven fifty. Out of a Glock, 12 out of an MPX. 125 power factor. So back to back to one other question I have, like when you first pick up a gun for a new shooter, mm -hmm. do you line the gun up with your arms like the first thing you tell them? Yeah, I mean they're supposed to. It kind of depends on their on their hand size, but you want the gun to come and, and be really in, in line with the with the arm. You don't want it to be okay. like this or like that, right? So. What's the next thing you say about the the right hand grip? The right hand grip, obviously, we're going to be as high as possible right in here. You got to kind of torque your your hand and get a pinch grip and get nice. Nice and high with a lot of pressure right there. I have a lot of uh, pressure on the knuckle and middle finger. Uh, just, just like that. Okay. Uh, not, don't grip it like a monkey, but actually pinch your hand. Okay. So that's the biggest thing. And now the, when the left hand comes up on it? Uh, I mean, usually you're doing it off the draw, so you got to start down here. You don't, you don't start just grabbing the gun out here. You actually yeah. got to start it down here. You got to roll into that uh, grip. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you're actually torquing your hands inward together. You're, rather than just only squeezing with your fingers, you're torquing inwards with it with the hands creating friction most people when they shoot a gun fast it gun does this it slides around in your hand yeah you torque in you you can eliminate that okay. and a gun just shifts or moves even a couple millimeters as you're shooting real fast like this it's, it's throwing you off and yeah uh i can totally eliminate that the gun's gonna move but my hands move with the gun so okay you can only see it in slow motion but that's really what helps you shoot better so okay awesome thanks robert so do a few more rounds here. Let's see the recoil control. Let's uh, no, to the body and to the mouth. It's a new thing. It's Mozambique Extreme. All right, ready? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. They win. What the hell did you do? <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, I went through that and went around the barrels. Yeah. Well, let's try a few more. Um, Double tap that farther target. That's about 15 yards. One right there? Yeah. All right. Ready? No. Ah, let me do it again. Mean. That was better. One more time. Now, that guy back there at like 28 yards. Way back there? All right. Those are, what the, you're right yeah. on top of the same hit. You know, we got to prove this in real life. Left side of the A. There. Uncut. <clears throat> Pretty crazy, Bob. <laughs> so when you shoot plates, basically don't shoot any faster than you can see the sights. Don't shoot any faster than you can see the sights, or you'll miss, yeah. 
Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, Bob. Yeah. It's all in the gun. Whose gun is that? <laughs> this is... Is this Canary's gun? It says his name on it right there, doesn't it? <laughs> I have to show him that.